What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends controller Build-A-Figure Waves Alex Ross-inspired Iron Man. Try and get your Marvel Legends, you can do so it. Such your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And I got to mention, it's feeling weird hopping waves like this, but I just got this in. So I wanted to talk about it. I really like the artwork on the side of the packaging as well as the back. You can see a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. We get a spot varnish logo up at the top and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and slice this thing open. It really like that artwork right there i mean alex ross uh, he is a legend so anyway we'll get this open this is one that i wasn't really too excited about but i gotta say as i'm holding it in hand right over here um i don't know you'll find out how i feel about it in a second let's get all the accessories out of here and then we'll get this guy back on the rotating base <laughs> So after spending some time with the figure, my perspective on this figure has changed a little bit. I have my list of gripes and there are some things that are actually quite satisfying about the figure. But anyway, let's get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Iron Man. So we don't get a build a figure piece with this figure, but we get these effects which we've seen before and I do like how they look with this color scheme and I do like the interchangeable hands right here. You do have hinges on them that move up and down and you can port these into the hands which is very easy and convenient to do so i like that and then you have the fisted hands right here and they look really good you know uh, no complaints over here i do like these effects i don't need to have two sets of them i'm okay with having one set uh, sometimes i like to pose the figure without having the little smoky effect right here you know you can use it or you cannot either way is fine me personally sometimes i like posing them without the smoky effect sometimes i add it in there but yeah i do like how it looks this translucent plastic looks really good <laughs> I'm not going to go on a full-on rant or anything, but there's got to be something said about spectator collecting, man. Because, yeah, when I was looking at product shots, I did not like this head sculpt. Now that I have it in hand, it doesn't bother me nearly as much as I thought it would. Now, I do wish the chin right here was a little bit more narrow, but I'm not seeing that robot thing like I was seeing with the product shots. Uh, not nearly as much anyway. If you look, that he does have a little bit of an underbite right here, and you do see that in the Alex Ross artwork so it is accurate it's just a little too wide right here i feel like this should be more narrow would have preferred like a light blue for where the eyes go alex ross usually draws the actual human eyes behind there and we're not getting that over here i am seeing subtle marbling in some of the gold areas you can see right over there on the side of the face the red mostly looks solid but i am disappointed in the fact that this is not a super shiny figure that does bum me out some so getting a more metallic red throughout on the figure would be really nice also having some blue around here for these discs would be cool too i just wish they had a little bit of a highlight going around them it looks so weird having these big old white discs all over the place i know it's part of the design but the color could have been a little bit i don't know having more depth right there with the blue would have been really neat i do like the sculpt of it a lot man and you can see we got a lot of sculpted lines throughout on this thing it does look really good a little gappy right there on the back i'll talk about the articulation more in a second the material right here for the shoulder pads is a little bit softer so you can move things around and then yeah legs look pretty solid and everything i do like how sturdy the figure feels and nice sculpted detail right here at the bottom gotta mention the pinless joints too Pinless joints throughout, yep. So, holy crap, I love the articulation on this figure. This is one of the better Iron Mans as far as articulation goes. I really dig it a lot. You have a neck hinge right here, which makes me happy. So, with the neck hinge and a ball joint right over there at the base of the neck, you can get Iron Man to look up that far, which looks really good to me. And you can get him to move that far downward it has a lot of shifting forward and back like a pile driver so it has a lot of mobility over there and i really dig that a lot you can turn the head side to side you get great pivoting over here shoulder joints uh not seeing butterfly joints right here but you can get the this shifted all the way over over here now if you leave it posed like that for a while you're going to get some warpage and you're going to have to heat it up but it will go back into place a little unfortunate that you can't move the arms inward more than this so that's a bit of a frustration but it doesn't bother me that much being honest with you but for some 
could bug you a lot. Uh, you get some double jointed elbows right there, and then all the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down. Great ab. Well, we have a fairly weak ab crunch forward over here that does bother me some, but it does move back quite a bit, and I do like how far back it goes. You do have some great pivoting right here, and of course it'll turn side to side. It almost feels like it should have drop down hips, but it does not. You can move the legs outward very, very far, and it will kick forward that much. Back, upper thigh cut. Well, when you kick forward, it'll want to move off to the side, some due to the gold plastic right here, which is also soft, like this material over here. So yeah, you will have to kick outward a little. Moves back, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. Then you get boot rotation. Ankles do move down. They do move up very far, and he has beautiful ankle pivot. So to measure out this new Iron Man figure, you can see that he's standing just a little over six and a half inches tall. And then for a goldie Marvel Legends Iron Man figure comparison from Hasbro, we have the modular Iron Man figure and our 80 years Iron Man, which I can say with confidence now, this is my favorite Marvel Legends Iron Man figure in my collection. Yeah, I love this figure. Now, this one right here, I am not happy with the gold. I mean, look how shiny and vibrant the gold is on both of these right over here. I feel like this one should have had a little bit more of that gold color, along with the red that I see over. I mean, if it had any of the kind of shininess that I'm seeing on either of these two figures, if that was applied to this figure right here, it would make me like it so much more. I wanted to see if I can get a head swap here, though. Let's see. Uh, uh, that fits on there all right so if you don't like that head sculpt or that helmet on that iron man you can do that all right there's a swap right there for those two it doesn't look too bad actually that looks okay right there oh, i don't know yeah it doesn't look awful uh not like and they're swapping those two nope doesn't look good at all no that looks hilarious and then here's the new iron man figure next to the 20 year anniversary of marvel legends iron man figure and this is a lot smoother to work with you know uh, just posing around compared to this one because that's the last one i reviewed i also wanted to see how a tony stark head sculpt or the charles bronson head sculpt would look on this guy right here hey not looking too bad yeah so that looks pretty cool i, I like it <laughs> Fits on there perfectly. And then I wanted to get an 80 years Iron Man Tony Stark head sculpt on here too. A little trickier to get that on there, but wow, that looks really good. I like it. Is that the 80 years Iron Man head sculpt? It could be a different head sculpt, but yeah, still not looking bad. And then for an Alex Ross inspired design figure comparison, we have our 80 years Alex Ross Captain America, and then we have our controller build a figure wave Iron Man, which yeah, again, wish it had shinier paint apps. And then here's the new Iron Man figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey friend. Whoa, hey, yeah, you got a hole in your armor. Yep, and another hole over there. And another hole over there. And another hole over there. Man, another hole over there. And another hole over there. And another hole over there. Man, another hole. Ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support this content via the Patreon and membership. It goes a long way. If you're interested in the perks, check it out. Link in the description below. And happy Father's Day to any of the fathers out there. I'm recording this on Father's Day. I'm not sure if it's getting posted on Father's Day. But anyway, this figure right here is a lot of fun to pose around. I can not escape that feeling of it kind of making me feel like I'm holding an import figure. It's not at that level, all right? But it has that kind of flexibility. It has that kind of fun factor. When I'm messing with it, it feels like a very sturdy figure. It's got heft to it. It has very smooth joints. It has very sturdy joints. I can get him into really cool wide stances. I can get him into really fun flying poses. And the amount of accessories that it comes with aren't too bad. So I actually had a lot of fun with this figure. I am not thoroughly happy with the paint apps. Like I really wish the paint app, I want to get mine customized. I'm thinking about getting a second one to just get it customized. But I don't know, or I may just get this one customized. I don't know, but I definitely want a repainted version of this figure. That's probably my biggest gripe, aside from the ab crunch not being as good as, as good as I'd like it to be. But still, man, I had a lot of fun with this figure. If you're not into posing figures around, this is an easy pass for you. Just it, it's not the best looking Iron Man figure, but it's one of the 
best for posing. So for me, at the price point around 25 to 30 bucks, I'm gonna give this Controller Wave Iron Man figure a sud rating of It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think. Again, candy and ice cream. We all like different flavors. Some people care a little bit more how the figure looks. Some people care a little bit more how the figure moves. I like having all those components mixed and I do like the posability of this figure. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, I'm sure I'm Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.